Hi, I am Sophie. I will be your trainer for this course on Vim Analytics. Vim Analytics report helps you to search for invoices and transactions and thus also provides you information about vendors, invoices, process and documents. We will be learning more about Vim Analytics during this training. Welcome to the module, Vim Analytics. This course will take approximately 20 minutes to e complete it. This is a simulation training where you will be shown the step-by-step -step procedure to complete the process. This course contains video with audio. Turn on the closed captions if you are taking the course without the audio. Once you go through the step-by-step -step procedure, you will be given an opportunity to do the process by yourself with appropriate guidance. There is an assessment at the end of the course. You need to pass the assessment to complete the course successfully. This reporting tool allows users to search on multiple fields to filter down invoices, and within each invoice there is a wide variety of information related to the header and line items. A list of invoices is the input. By the end of this module, you will be able to know various kinds of reports, what information they can provide and how to extract them. The reports from Vim Analytics can provide reports that help leads take important decisions on work allocation, pending volume, status of invoices, and invoice history. Business can take right decision based on the information provided by the report. How to code non-PO invoice with multiple account assignments and tax codes. Enter the new T-code introduced within Vim 7.5 version to run new Vim Analytics report. Slash n slash opt slash vim underscore va2. Vim analytics report contains different sections, invoice data, vendor data, process data, accounting data, due date, work item data, document dates and process flow to search for invoices or vim transactions. Each sections will be explained in detail in this module. Let us learn more about invoice data. Invoice data. You can search for vim transactions based on document date. That is, invoice date, amount, currency of the invoices, requisitioner or transaction events such as invoice, credit memo, down payment. Vim transactions can be searched giving the date range or a single date. To use this option, click on this icon. Clicking the icon will prompt the tool this pop-up. Click here to fill multiple dates. Date ranges should be used here. You can also use these fields for excluding dates or range of dates. Now that we have completed learning ABU invoice data section, let us understand vendor data section. Vendor data. This section is used to search for a single or multiple invoices or reconciling vendor statements. In this section you can search for an invoice by vendor, from whom the query is received, reference invoice number. This file is used when invoice number is available, purchasing document or PL number, purchasing group or plant is known. To search for multiple invoices, either enter invoice numbers manually or copy and paste it in Vim by pressing Shift and F12 simultaneously and either press F8 or click on Execute. Click here to search for status of multiple invoices. To copy paste multiple invoice numbers, press Shift and F12. For deletion press Shift F4. Press F8 or click this user icon to confirm the invoice numbers. Process data section can be used to limit the search output. Restrict the search to company code. Where invoice code starts from 5 and account documents start from 1. Delete the number to get all or maximum search results. You can manually change the reporting currency to local currency. Once the selection is completed, press F8 or click this user icon to generate search result. Here is the search result screen. Left hand side of the screen displays all transaction to the invoices in question and the right hand side of the screen is the detail pane of the selected transactions from the left hand side of the field. To review the invoice image, click on Image tab. To review the cost element or PO line item details, click on Line Items tab. To review the complete history of selected transaction, click on History tab and for comments, click on Comments tab. This section displays complete history along with different doc status along with user, time and date stamp. This section displays reviewer and approver history along with user, time and date stamp for selected transaction. Click here to close the right-hand detail pane. This section displays invoice pending action by user IDs. Here is the reference of important and daily used field names and different doc status. To modify the default Vim header field, 
from the toolbar click here and click on change layout. To remove header from displayed columns, select the header and click here, and to add, select header from column set and click here. To confirm the selection, click here. To save the layout permanently, click on save layout to use it next time. To extract the output on Excel or any other doc type, click here. Select the location and save the file. Output report. This report contains invoice status posted, pending resolution, due date, payment date, if paid, clearing date etc. Now that you have understood about invoice data and vendor data, let us now get familiar with process data within VIM Analytics reports. Process data. In this section you can search for an invoice by the DP documented, DP document type such as, PO, NPO, down payment, company code, invoice document number, accounting document number, fiscal year and channel it, such as, Elink ICS, Ariba and Scan. In this section, you can also search an invoice by invoice type, such as PO or non-PO and status. The status could be searched by overall status, such as, open, completed, awaiting approval, coding is finished, awaiting approval, coding is not finished, awaiting approval, in DP process, awaiting approval, posted, rejected by approver, or, it could be searched by specific status like posted, blocked, suspected duplicate etc. Key in the company code vendor name with star in the beginning and in the end. Select THR correct vendor. Scroll down the bar that is at the right of the report and you will see further options to search for an invoice. Accounting data. In this section you can search for an invoice based on the accounting information and search by the person who posts the invoice, GL account, cost center, internal order and WBS element. Let us understand about due dates. In this section, you can search for an invoice according to the due dates of the invoice to be pay. You can search the invoice by due date, days to do, and overdue. This section also have the option to search for invoices with cash discounts. Here, we will be learning about work item data section. In this section you can search for an invoice by the end of the current agent of the invoice, the role of the person that have to take action in the invoice, the workflow type, such as, approval workflow, block PO invoice, line item. Here, we will be learning about document dates section. In this section, you can search for an invoice according by the following options dates, DP start date, posting date and or payment date. Here, we will be learning about process flow section. In this section you can search for an invoice according to the flow that invoice followed within the system, even, if the invoice was posted and then reversed. In this section you can search by number of reversal document, company code, number of original document, that is, invoice document number and block reason, such as, D and price discrepancy. Now as you have gone through this course VIM Analytics, let us summarize this process. During this course, you got familiar that, VIM Analytics is a central reporting tool, which provides a live report of the status of all invoices, including invoices which are linked to purchase orders from SAP systems. Thank you for completing this course.